So the last missing element is something the bridge is crossing. In the real world, they would have probably just turned this hilly, mountainous area into a road by digging it out, because that's cheaper than a bridge. But you can't dig out water. Right? So we're going to create a, a pool of water, sort of a lake that's underneath our bridge. To do this, we're going to go back to our poly modeling menu, and I'm just going to create another polygon plane. Again, I'm going to lower this a little bit, make it much bigger. And you'll start to see that it fills up the areas of the terrain that are lower lying. I'm going to lower this terrain just a little bit more, just to get a little bit more water present in this scene. Maybe something like that. And then I'm going to scale our water even larger to hit some of these lower lying areas. Now, just like with our terrain, this water is too simple. There's too few faces. And if it started to deform, you would see that we would get ripples in our water that look very jagged. So I need to add a little bit more detail to this. Again, I'm going to go to my channel box and the polyplane 2 node. I'll change that from 10 and 10 to 100. Now recognize that the number of polygons in your scene will start to slow your computer down. Most computers are probably capable of handling what we have on the screen right now, but we can't get too crazy with this. We can't crank this up to 100,000 and 100,000. Maya would start to slow down, and depending on the speed of your computer, it would probably even crash. So this should be enough information. If we need more later, we can, we can change this. So I'm going to get down here where I can see it a little bit better. Oop, my bridge is a little bit separated there, so I'll scoot that a little closer. And I'm going to start adding some ripples to this. To do this, we're going to use a new tool called BOSS, B-O-S-S. -S. This is under the Effects menu. So if I go to my Menu Selection option here and switch this to Effects, then you'll see I have BOSS listed right here. Now, this is probably a good time to talk about plugins. Plugins are how Maya implements new tools into the software without having to rebuild it from the ground up. So Boss is a plugin that comes with Maya, but you may not currently be seeing Boss on your computer, or you may not be seeing Mash or maybe even Arnold. All of these are different plugins that come with the program. So if you're not seeing Boss, let me show you how to turn that on. If we go to Windows, under Settings and Preferences, you'll see Plugin Manager. If I open that up, this is a list of all of the different plugins that are currently in Maya. Some of them are running, some of them are not. You'll see everyone that is unchecked is not running right now. Everyone that is checked is. So let's see if Boss is in here and running. So if I just go to my search menu at the top and type B-O-S-S, -S, and I'm seeing it in my menu, but it's currently saying it's not loaded. So just to make sure, we're gonna go ahead and click Loaded. And then I'll hit Close. Now I should be able to go to Boss and Boss Editor. Sometimes it takes a few minutes to open. There it goes. So, what this is going to allow us to do is to create some ripples and some waves on this object. Currently, all I really want are some spectral waves. So if I have my object selected and I click this blue button right here, you'll see it says Create Spectral Wave. And if I do that, on frame one, we're not really going to see anything, but on frame two, you should start seeing some really subtle waves happening underneath our object. To make changes to our spectral wave, we can find the settings under this Boss Spectral Wave node. So you can play around with some of these values to see the differences you get. Or we can go to the Attribute Editor, and under the Boss Spectral Wave 1 node, we'll find those similar attributes again. Play with some of these values and see what kind of different results you get.